Hey, what's up, everybody? So we are on the United States Mint 2022 product schedule. And today, March the 11th, 2022, the United States Mint is going to be releasing the U.S. Navy 2.5 ounce silver medal. Is this something you are going to be online at noon Eastern Standard Time trying to purchase? For me, I am not going to be buying this one today. I did not buy the first two in the series, which was the U.S. Air Force, followed by the U.S. Coast Guard in 2021. Now, this is going to be the third Armed Forces silver medal in that series. Now, just like the Air Force and the Coast Guard medals, this one also has a mintage limit of 10,000, a product limit of 10,000, and this, for now, has a household order limit of one. But I do suspect that if this does not sell out in day one, if this thing does not go to remind me in day one, then tomorrow on March the 12th, then I do suspect that at noon Eastern Standard Time, this household order limit of one will change to none. Now we are gonna be getting into this design as well as talking about the description from here. But before we do, I did do a poll yesterday on the community tab on my channel. And the question was, how long do you think it will take for this silver medal to sell out? Let's go take a look at them poll results. All right, so here is the poll results. Now, there was 122 votes. I was hoping to get a little bit more involvement than that, but that's okay. The poll says, how long do you think it will take for the U.S. Navy 2.5 ounce silver medal to sell out with only 10,000 mintage? And your choices were day one sellout, day two after the household order limit is dropped, and that's assuming that they do drop that household order limit, one week, two to three weeks, or over one week month and overwhelmingly with 122 votes 52 percent said day one sellout followed by day two after the household order limit is dropped then one month with 14 percent one week with 13 percent and two to three weeks with four percent let me know in the comment section down below if you did or did not participate in this poll let us know in the comment section do you think it's going to be a day one sellout or do you think it's going to be a longer sellout let us know how long do you think it's going to take for this metal to actually sell out all right so let's get into the design of this metal first of all before we talk about the design and anything else in this video. If you are a veteran in our armed forces, if you are active duty in the armed forces, if you are in no matter the branch of the military, if you are in the Navy or was in the Navy, I thank you for your service to our country. But when I'm talking about this medal, I'm just talking about the design. If you're buying this as a collector, are you more impressed with this design or are you more impressed with the coast guard design now there's many things i like better about the coast guard design than i do this navy design but in some other aspects this here has a lot more detail than the coast guard design you have multiple ships on this one you have this ship here and then you have another ship behind it really awesome it says don't give up the ship it's probably a pretty important statement don't give up anything no equipment whatsoever but if you look at this design i really do like this design where you see the ship is going through the water and then you see the water splashing up and then over here you see some jets flying in the sky above the ship really awesome i think they did a really good job with this design even though i like the coast guard where it's really going through rough waters and you see the water all splashing up i think that's really awesome but this one here actually does have a lot more detail as far as the jets flying in the sky and then you see a lot more detail on the actual ship itself and then on the reverse of the metal really cool you have the u.s flag a depiction of it waving in the wind where you actually see it kind of waving in the wind so they did a really good job with that american flag how they have the detail of it actually waving in the wind and then you have a lineup of sailors and then it says honor courage 
commitment. So I think they did a really good job on this. I think overall, I think they did a pretty good job on this medal. Let's take a look and let's read a little bit of this description. The obverse heads design depicts the U.S. Navy destroyer John Paul Jones cutting through the waters while the USS Constitution sails behind it. And F-18, so F-18, so up here where we look at this, they're saying that these are F-18s. And F-18 Hornet formation flies by, leaving smoke trails in the sky, paying honor to both ships. Descriptions are United States Navy and don't give up the ship. The latter spoken by mortally wounded Commander James Lawrence to his crew on the USS Chesapeake during the War of 1812. The reverse tails design features a line of sailors manning the rail while the American flag flies in the background. The inscriptions are Navy's core values, honor, courage, and commitment. So very awesome. And I do think it's a very nice design. I think at least the depiction on here, and usually, as most of you can probably agree, once you actually have something in hand, it actually looks much better than what it does on the computer screen. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. It says, measures two inches in diameter, perfect gift for military history buffs and students, honors the U.S. Navy, collect or share the United States two and a half ounce silver medal, and U.S. Navy one ounce silver medal SNV1 with the same design will be available next year. So really awesome. And I can't wait to see what the only one in this series that i may purchase may purchase don't know but could be the united states marines i can't wait to see what that one looks like let me know what everybody thinks in the comment section down below oh but one thing that i forgot to mention is everything that these medals come with the air force medal the coast guard medal this medal and all the other medals i do believe going forward they all come with the clamshell and the clamshell today is becoming a bit of a rarity when we buy coins and medals from the united states most of these just come with a box and not a actual clamshell so really awesome let me know what you guys think about this actually coming with a clamshell thanks everybody for watching like comment subscribe and i appreciate everybody for watching and i'll talk to everybody on my next video thanks a lot everyone